palm trees. Morning, everybody. We're in Tonopah, Arizona. About to go deliver our load. Let's go take a look at it real quick. Very light load, very simple load, very slippery load. The wind just slipped right around us this whole trip. Excellent fuel economy. It's good highways. And once we left the Midwest, like uh, around Nebraska, once we got down to Colorado, the weather got really good. Nice and sunshiny and warm. Before that, it was raining. It rained on me all the way down to Colorado. It's been four days to get down here. Three full days plus a little bit. But it took four days. We can now get this load off my trailer and Hopefully I'll have a reload soon after that. As of sitting here right now, I still don't have a reload and I'm getting a little bit worried. <laughs> but that's okay, because after I'm done uh, unloading just down the road, I'm going to come back up here to the truck stop, shower, fuel, uh, maybe go for a walk, sort of refresh myself. Hopefully I have time for that still. If not, I mean, uh, I'll go pick up a reload. I mean, that's a little bit more important, uh, I guess. Getting something on the trailer first. But... Uh, I'm guessing, you know, if I don't have a load yet, I'm thinking I'll probably have a load that's going to be put on the trailer tomorrow, hopefully in the area. But, uh, I mean, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, let's go get this taken care of first. Real quick before we get started here, today's shout out goes to our friends at Bull Snot. All of the cleaning products you need to keep your truck shining. Go down below to my description where you can find a link to their website, brownox.com for the US, and Bullsnot Canada for up here in Canada. Go check them out if you like a clean rig. Let's get on with the video. Arizona in the desert right there. I've never seen one of those in real life. Just off to the left, these big tall things. Look at that. Ha, I've only seen those in movies. It's the real deal. I think this is my guy right there. Are those real? Those real cat? Yeah, those are real, aren't they? Check that out. 
Ah! Just like in the movies. Arizona. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. So, I'm just gonna get these straps off of here now. And they're gonna unload them and put them right by these over here, which are the same things. All the way from Manitoba, Canada. Down here in Arizona, USA. All right, we're almost done, almost done. Take the straps off, put my equipment away, put my tarps in their bags, throw them on the deck once it's empty, tie those down. Maybe by that time we'll have a reload. If not, I'm going to take a shower anyway. It's hot out here, have I mentioned that yet? Almost like I'm in the desert or something. My work in the desert is complete. For this load anyway. Got it right on the ground over here. Really nice people here. As always, everywhere you go in the US, everyone's so hospitable and so kind and just wanna help you out, offer you water, hear about where you're from, talk to you. As soon as you tell them you're from Canada, they're like, ooh, a foreigner. I'm not a foreigner guy, come on. Not that much, I'm a little bit of a foreigner, I guess. But technically on paper, but come on. <laughs> they wanna know how different Canada is, right? And then I think they're kind of disappointed when I tell them, I'm like, this is all very similar, very, very similar. <laughs> but uh, when I tell them we had snow a couple weeks ago, they're like, wow, really a couple weeks? No way. Like, yeah, I'm melting. And they're like, oh, this isn't even hot yet, man. This is just, we're just getting warmed up. It's not even noon yet. And it's springtime, it's not even summertime. <laughs> it's like 85 degrees right now. I'm just cooking. Everyone here is just acting like it's practically winter time. Well, not winter, but they're, they're, it's definitely not hot for them yet. Definitely. <laughs> they're enjoying the weather. They're all talking about how great the weather is today. I'm just sitting there in the background like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I'll take it over the cold. I'm not complaining. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I just find it funny. So I'm headed up to the pilot, which is just nearby here, a little bit west from the TA where we stopped last night. I'm gonna fuel up, that's the cheapest fuel on my route. I have a reload now that's waiting for me in Grand Junction, Colorado. A little bit of a jump over there, but uh, we're gonna pick that load up and that's going up into Banff, Alberta. So we're gonna go get all showered up, cleaned up, start moseying our way over that way you know for a desert there's a lot of bushes and stuff here when I when I hear the word desert all I think of is sand you know like like the Sahara Desert sand the Arizona Desert's a little different there's cactus here and like shrubs it's definitely a desert like, not much will grow here that's all sand in there so I guess they have a little bit more growing here than I expected I should have known that I mean I've been here before right and, been a long time I was I had this picture of Egypt or something in my head <laughs> they got any pyramids in this desert actually they do in Nevada in Las Vegas they got a pyramid there don't they <laughs> it's pretty cool coming to see different places like this it's hard to imagine this is the exact same country as Minnesota right Totally different geography, totally different climate. Same people, same language.
station and a quarter mile on the left side. You guys won't believe this. I hit eight miles per US gallon from Colorado to here, loaded. That's incredible, that's the highest I've ever gotten by far. It was a great trip down here. I hope the trip up north is gonna be the same. That's one for the record books, eight miles per gallon, loaded. You did good, Blue. Even with your big old long hood there, you did good. All right, and it is shower time. I need to shower badly. Wait, did I, I, I double checked that my door was locked, right? Yep, yeah. okay. Let's go in. Might grab something to eat too after. I'm gonna try to bring as much of this weather home as I can with me. I'm gonna tie it down, and bring it back home. Okie dokie. We're done here, showered. Had to wait a little bit for the shower, but I wasn't going down the road like that. Let's go. We got a long way to go today yet. It is. Oh, my gauge says 37 degrees Celsius, but we were just sitting still, so we'll read it again in a couple of minutes once we're on the highway. Probably won't be quite that hot, but it's got to be close to 30, which would be... Is that 85, 90 Fahrenheit? Somewhere in there? I got a burn on my neck. My skin burned a little bit. <laughs> Canadian in the desert. Just look for the bright pink one. That's him. Now it's going to be a good day. I got a full day of driving to get up to Colorado. Sometimes we got a... Well, very often we have longer deadheads than a driver who is an American delivering in America, right? because I can't pick up freight that's being dropped off in the US. It has to be something that's being dropped off in Canada. It's illegal for me to pick up freight in the US and drop it off here, it's called interstating. And they highly frown on it, very strongly, with hefty fines. So I, uh, I'm not one of those people. Let me go buy the book. All right, bud, come on. What are you, what are you? Why don't you use your signal, man? Really? Turn left and then take the entrance to the right in 590 feet. Big long line of trucks behind me waiting to get out and we all gotta wait because that guy's not using the signal. 500 feet, take the entrance to the right on I-10 East. Anywho, goodbye palm trees. I'm glad I got to see them. I was really worried because in uh, New Mexico, I didn't see any palm trees. I don't know, I missed them all or what? There are no palm trees there. Why is there no palm trees in New Mexico? How did I miss them all? I mean, I did go through half the state when it was dark. Maybe that's why. Lift 
9 miles. Flagstaff and I came down here at night and now that I'm driving back up here during the day I'm seeing all of these cactuses or is it cacti all of these cacti everywhere it's huge that's crazy I think those kind of cactus are native to Arizona right you don't find them anywhere else other than Arizona. I think I read that somewhere once. Feel free to correct me in the comment section because I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm not from the desert. But it's so crazy to see like up on the hills. Now we're driving uh, through a town here a little bit, but in the open fields beside the highways, just thousands and thousands of these, just massive, would you call them trees, like cactus trees? They're, they're as big as a tree. But it's a big cactus, like you see in the movies. The pricklies and everything on it. I always want to go out there and you'll put a big cowboy hat on one. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that, I don't know. Looks like a person standing out there, right? Because it looks like it, it looks like it has arms. All of these cactus, cacti. Don't listen to me, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just a tourist rolling through. I think it's pretty cool. People who live here get to see them every day, but how often does a Canadian get to see a big old cactus the size of an oak tree? Of course, now that I'm talking about it, I can't find any. Oh, there's a couple off to my right. Oh yeah, there they are. It's like the size of an oak tree, just massive. I wonder, do they not grow anywhere else? off to my left. The camera can't pick them up because it's too far away, but it's, just, it's like a forest of cactus. A forest of cactuses. A, a cacti forest. Just, they're everywhere. That is so neat. That is so cool. I guess I keep them further away from the road. You don't see them growing like right up beside the road here, but look up on that hill to the right there. Can you see it? I don't know if the fish eye will let you see that far, but there's a whole bunch of them. All the bushes are in the way, of course. You can see them off on the left there, too. All over the place. Cactus here and cactus there. They all look like people standing there. <laughs> Looks like they got arms and everything, right? Oh, there's a really big one over there on the left. Oh, I hope the camera picks that up. <laughs> it's so cool. Can you imagine having one of those in your front yard? That'd be cool. I'd rather have a palm tree, but a cactus is pretty cool too. I don't see those very often. I didn't know how many of them there were. I knew that there were some out here. I just didn't know that they're everywhere. It's 
a couple more coming up here beside the road. Probably see them down there. I had no idea they got so big. Well, tall as a building. That one looks like it's giving me the finger. Well, that's not very nice. Very interesting. Oh uh, yes, this is the highway between uh, Phoenix and Flagstaff. Like I was just telling you, I, I came down here at night last time and it's just construction the whole way. I don't know what they're doing, but they're keeping traffic flowing pretty well at least. There's another couple of big ones coming up beside the road here on the right. Big cactus. Look at that thing. Oh, look at that thing. That one looks like a hand. At the bottom, they kind of look like trees. Like they almost got bark at the bottom. I, I didn't get a good look at it. But. Like, are they actually considered a kind of tree or are they their own species altogether? I have so many questions. <laughs> Do any of you live here? Is this just normal for you? I feel like I'm on like a foreign, like a, a another planet or something. I don't get to see any of this stuff ever. Oh, that one's all twisted up. <laughs> wow. We got up on the hill on the left. It's all over the place. On the left, there sort of looks like a, a forest that's been burnt down. Like, you know, like there's a forest fire from a distance, and then you get closer, and you're like, oh, those are those are prickly trees. Those aren't burnt down trees. Those are actually something else. Those are desert trees. There's a big one on the right. It thing's tall. Another day has come. It's dark out already. I wish the sun was up because the route I'm on right now, I'm in Utah. 
it seems like during the day it would be just the most beautiful road I've ever driven on. Canyons and curvy roads and all kinds of different scenery. But I can only see little little bits of it because <laughs> everything's dark. So maybe we'll get some good scenery in the morning. Don't forget to tune in, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. There'll be a new video tomorrow. Uh, for tomorrow, I'm about two hours away from Grand Junction, Colorado. I'm gonna pick that up and then we're gonna start heading up to Banff, Alberta. So I'll see you then everybody, keep your stick on the ice out there. Pay attention, stay safe. And don't forget to subscribe.